Okay, it's about a minus 26 outside uh, Celsius. See if it's going to start up. Uh, last night went down to minus 32, so it was pretty cold last night. Uh, let's see what happens. Oh, almost did. It's cold. As you can see, I've been playing outside with it a little bit in the back here. Uh, of course, I was uh, done there like two days ago. Been sitting out here for a few days. Clutch is making a little bit of a noise, but it's nothing that I'm going to worry about right now. <laughs> got to start up my truck because I got to go run and do some stuff. I got some new sidewalk blocks in the back. I'm not going to hear anything, of course, over the quad. That was actually even pretty damn stiff. Dancy Dancy camera stand. Look at that. Uh, now that I got it in here, I'm gonna be going to buy my exhaust wrap. I'm going to be wrapping the entire exhaust. Uh, but first, I'm thinking of actually loading it onto my truck and bringing it to a car wash. I already degreased the engine because uh, there was a leak uh, because one of the vent lines from the engine actually uh, burnt off from the shitty exhaust. <laughs> so I wanted overflow lines, so that's not good. Uh, as I was saying before, I had a little bit of a smoky kind of fire thing underneath it once, so that's why I want to. That's why I want to wrap the exhaust, and of course, with gas leaking everywhere, that was not a good thing either. So, <laughs> so yeah, off to go buy some exhaust wrap. I know a few local stores have it. Uh, I could always just order on order it on eBay for half the price, like I did on my old uh, Player's Predator. That cost me ten bucks to do the whole thing. Actually, it might have been like five bucks plus shipping. So if I buy it local, I'm going to be stuck paying like 35, 40 bucks for it. I just know it, but whatever. That's where I'm going to end this video for now.